Hi guys, it's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In this video guys, we'll share with you everything that you need to know about the latest Pegaxi changes and updates and how those changes and updates can affect the Pegaxi price and the Viz price. So Pegaxi has been in an absolute roller coaster ride. It went up like 10x, went absolutely parabolic, then broke down and it's basically back to where it all started. So in this video guys, we'll look at the latest news, share with you my personally how i'm trading or how i'm playing this game is still an amazing game if you follow the uh, discord or twitter there's still lots of updates coming up so i still like the project but personally guys i'm looking to buy back when i see some strength coming in and especially two metrics i'll share with you in this video that i want to see to buy loads of pegaxi back for the next parabolic run we don't want to buy you know when everyone is foaming in right at the top we want to be buying when the start when it comes back when it pulls back and start trend changing we want to be buying here so i'll share with you exactly when to buy when i'm looking to buy my updated strategies for pegaxi if you guys watched our video i made lots of pegaxi videos i recommend you at least watch this video guys in this Pegaxi video, what is Pegaxi? I go into a lot of detail on what is Pegaxi, why I'm bullish on long term. It's a longer video, but I recommend you take 20, 30 minutes out and watch that video. You learn a lot more about you know how it works, and this video will make a lot more sense. So uh, let's talk about the issue first. So why has Pegaxi price been dropping? So first, guys, when something goes up too quick, there's not enough buyers to keep the price going up. We've seen it with Bitcoin, you know, at 20k pump. We've seen it with 60k pump. This always happens in cryptocurrency newbies see the price pumping and they they look to get in and it, it's not sustainable so there's always a reset i personally was looking for pegaxi to hold here when it started breaking down i started selling pegaxi and i wasn't really interested and you know in the in the rockstar trading group guys in the youtube video it's difficult to make updates i, I can you can see when i sold uh, it was my mint date i sold about 20 i started selling uh, end of february 27th of february if you are interested in the rockstar trading group guys i can update you my strategies exactly how i'm looking to play the game trading when i'm selling when i'm buying if you are interested in all of that i'll leave the links below there's live streams three to four times a week there's a trading course and and you know people joke about trading and technical analysis but we used a trading strategy to get out of pegaxi in a really good time when we started trend changing below lots of selling pressure coming up and fundamentally there's lots of viz being minted which means lots of supply that's when we exited uh, pegaxi and now if pegaxi there's more pegaxi viz less viz being minted and more being burned i'll jump back in at a lot lower price and you know get ready for the next parabolic bull run so yeah if you are interested in taking your trades to the next level d5 play to earn i'll leave the links below there's a special offer to try less for less than 30 bucks so that's the main reason it started breaking down there was just too much fomo and the second thing it broke down is because of the amount of viz that was being minted if you just look the, the previously if you go back uh, or watch my previous videos more was being burnt than minted but now the amount of viz that's being minted is ridiculous every day more viz is being minted than burnt and we don't want to see that we want to see more burnt than minted until we see that guys it's going to be bearish because there's going to be too much supply pressure and people will be selling and dumping their viz and one thing I don't want to see is if you guys remember and trading technical analysis is such an important skill to have whether you you know do DeFi investing is such an important skill to have because if you remember Axie Infinity Axie Infinity we got involved with Axie Infinity less than $10 it was a 10x trade watch our previous videos from uh, Axie Infinity but SLP guys SLP came to this support it bounced and I think Viz is going to pump you could look to start playing it now for a bit I think there's going to be some big pumps but the real million dollar question is is it going to trend change and start in a new rally or is it going to break down if viz breaks this purple floor i love uh, pegaxi and the game i don't want to be holding if it breaks this so it's really really important that it comes you know starts buying back here so you could look to buy now and if we see trend change below you could exit there's not a bad buy zone now i'll come to the strategies pegaxi breeding at strategies because you could you know breed and, and race with pgx and you can earn money that way so i'll get into all of that at the end of the video but from a high time frame this is like a must hold level the you know the two cent i really want pegaxi if this to start getting back above two cent for me to be bullish so two key things we want to see i'll get into the updates and hopefully the updates and changes pegaxi team are making is going to help with that but two things we want to see is more uh, viz being burnt than minted and viz price above two cent and showing strength bias coming in high volume and breakout is those two things guys if i see those two things guys i'm buying back my peg axes and 
and and hopefully we're gonna ride the next parabolic bull run and then you know you could 10x and make some crazy ridiculous money playing this game so that those are the two high time frame what's happening and it's really important what uh, peg actually holds here um, another metric that I look for is new users and volume. We can see the users are going down, the volume is down, the transaction is down. It, when the price was going up, when we got involved end of January, you can see it was absolutely going bull run. And I personally would have made a lot more money if Viz stayed up another week because it usually takes four weeks. When I bought here, I said I want Pegaxi to you know, carry on going for four weeks, at least trending higher. Unfortunately, I didn't get that. I needed the price to stay up until 21st, 27th of February. It didn't. It broke down a bit before me. So unfortunately, I could not make as much money as I would have liked. And I had to take some losses when it broke down. But again, stick to your strategy. If I hadn't taken, you know, exited, I would have been down. You, you can look at, you know, I'd be down about 70 80 percent it's really important to have a strategy and i posted exactly when i was exiting when i was buying and i'll post here and when i'm looking to buy as well you can see you know b before there was a lot more being burnt and lately there's just more and more being minted more burnt more burnt more burnt you can see the days mo most of the days we were having more burned than minted but lately it was just being more minted and i didn't like that that's why i exited so what is pegaxi team doing to make these changes so there's a uh, pegaxi is trying to make some changes on flipping of racing cooldown so what they're trying to do is uh, they're trying to reduce the viz that's going to be minted and this is huge change guys if less viz is minted that will mean there's less supply and hopefully we can get involved and if there's demand for pegaxi we can get the next rally so the proposed uh, ideas for changes and they have been implemented now they've convert confirmed on the pegaxi official twitter page the flipping cooldowns for all breeds to provide different incentives for breeding. So if you guys, uh, the, the chart isn't here. So if you guys remember, uh, we were mainly doing hoz. The reason why we were um, uh, breeding hoz is because hoz cooled, you can breed them in, in 24 hours, which is amazing because you can start breeding hoz in 24 hours. And that's still staying the same. But unfortunately, the baby of hoz has to wait 96 hours before it can uh, it can start racing. So that that everyone just wanted to buy hoz because it was you know you can breed quicker um, and why would you not buy hoz and the breed the racing was same as everyone else and zan you had to wait 96 hours before you could rebreed so you can grow your uh, farm a lot quicker that's why i picked hoz and if you watch my strategies before in this video where i shared with you my pegaxi strategies that is what i was doing then when i saw that change happening in uh, where is that uh, let me go back and find that page when i saw these changes happening i actually moved to zan and at the moment i only have two peg two pegaxi pairs two hards and two zan most of it i've sold out because you know it's not really I've, I've explained the reasons why i've sold and when i sold um, and the reason why is because Zan is getting better at this. You can raise Zan quicker than you can raise Hoz. And also, if you can breed more Hoz, there's going to be a lot of Hoz around. The price of Hoz could go down. I look at the floor prices for Hoz and Zan. So that's the biggest change. And the other big change is cooldown for adult Pega after breeding. So after you after you breed, before you could just raise them and start minting Viz. Now you have to wait. Um, before you can breed and there's also newborn will will have a zero energy there's a few other changes that they talked about as well um uh, variable energy so at the moment every peg actually have 25 they might bring that to 20 or 18 depending on pegas and that's gonna mean that the peg axes you have now they're gonna be more valuable because they can race more they can earn more viz and uh, additional pegas adding to races so if you add more pegas to races there's gonna be more peg pegas around which will mean uh which will mean that there'll be less viz minted the, the your win rate's going to go down because there's going to be more racing that's another thing that they uh, are talking about with the three changes that's happening is flipping of cooldown for all breeds different uh, incentives for breeding so that that makes you know attractive you know other pegax is attractive so zan which is what i've got into and also adding cooldowns to adults when breeding so after they breed they can't race which is a bad thing for making money but for the for the ecosystem of viz and we talk about the mint and burn ratio less viz is going to be minted after these changes hopefully the uh, burn will start taking over minting 
I'm really looking forward to that change, this changing is happening. So the key thing now is, are these changes going to make a difference? So are we going to see more viz being burnt? And are we going to see volume coming in? Unless we see those two things, I'm going to stay out of this game. And I know I'm a massive bull. I only talk about bullish and, and you know, buying and selling 1000% gains. But in the Rockstar Trading Channel, we try to be share with you exactly what we're doing, unbiased Um advice in this channel and and i'll share with you exactly what i'm doing and unfortunately at the moment i'm not looking to put my money into this game for breeding and growing farms it, can you make money racing and i'll probably make another video how you can still make money you know borrowing and racing and getting this but obviously not as much because the risk price is down when the risk price was here and i was making you know a thousand or two thousand whatever many viz you can think about the money that i was making which is ridiculous daily i was making um crazy amounts of money but if i'm getting the same viz at this price i'm not going to get the same money because the price is 10x lower so i'm i'm getting a lot less money so personally i'm staying out of it what i want to see now is um uh, the the changes coming into effect and actually making change to this metric if we start seeing more burn than mint then i'll get excited i'll put up putting money in start growing my farm exactly what i did back in january when it, we were trending up higher so those are the two things i want to see if not i am going to be worried coming back to the game and playing the game uh, the floor prices guys as you can see the floor prices isn't great so if you look at the lowest price lowest to high the lowest price is like less than 200 bucks you can start buying pegas and you can see the cheapest one are hos because there's obviously inflationary you can mint a lot more than the prices have held up a bit higher but the prices look really weak and like i said if you want to start buying now uh, to start off that's fine you're jumping the gun a bit you're jumping a bit cheaper again i trade there's lots of coins i'm trading i'm running a trading group gold is going parabolic in the rocks the trading group we're longing gold cryptocurrency is weak and bitcoin's breaking down but gold has been absolutely printing money for us and you can see all the trades i've been posting in gold uh, and in the rocks trading channel is not a crypto channel DeFi channel it's just a of sharing what i'm doing i've got seven eight years of experience of trading i'm just showing what i'm doing and at the moment i'm quite busy with with gold and keeping up with all the latest news that's happening in this world so there's lots of more important stuff going on than crypto and making money unfortunately and my blessings and best thoughts go go to those people in ukraine so uh, coming back to the Pegaxi game, I don't think breeding, if you want to do it long term, I personally am waiting to see trend change. But if you think this is going to hold, and I personally think we're at least going to see a few, you know, 10, 50, 100 percent pumps here. So you could look to aggressively start buying some because the price is so cheap. But if we break down, you exit. So that's the first strategy. Start buying four peg axes now, breeding them. And then if we start breaking below, you exit. That's one thing that you can do. The other thing that you can do is if we start trend changing above here, that's when you start, you know, buying, breeding, racing. That is personally my strategy. So if you're looking to breed, those are the two strategies. If you're looking to race, you can still buy some and race one really big tip and there's few big pegaxi breeders and racers in our group one huge big tip uh, on pegaxi is if you're renting your pegaxi rent it with pgx because you can get the pgx and sell it straight away and and if the viz price dumps in two weeks because you can't sell your viz for at least two weeks so if you start you know r racing it for viz and you get lots of viz but the price of viz dumps you're not your money that you're earning is less but if you rent it for pgx you can quickly sell your sell your pgx on kyber swap and get your money get your profits quick straight away that is a really big tip if you're looking to do that and racing wise yeah again i, I personally want race is just not worth the time in the western world in the some parts of the world yes you can rent it and do seven percent but it doesn't make sense for me uh, pgx you could like borrow it for pgx and race if you've got time but they're not they're not the huge you know money that you can make the main money you can make is from breeding and renting out and which is what i look to do again if we see the next bull move up um future updates that they're bringing adventure mode up obviously that's going to be really interesting there's going to be gameplay so it's going to be skills based gameplays those are a few big changes that are coming up and I'll, I'll i'll be waiting for that looking at the project i don't think this project is dead there's you know the, the team are working really hard on updating the game making changes working on improvements so i personally don't think this game is dead huge investors guilds are still invested in this game so i do think there's going to be a rally in pegaxi i'm not sure if it's going to rally from here or it's going to go lower and then rally make sure you subscribe to the channel guys i will update you guys when i've got back into this game breeding obviously 
there might be a week or two delay because it takes a lot longer to record a video upload it and i can post exactly uh, when i'm entering but i will let you guys know so make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification button i'll let you guys know for the next parabolic bull move up for peg axi so let's finish off with price prediction i'll do pgx first and then viz pgx again is breaking down once it broke below the key support i'll get into it. i think it was 50 cent or was it 40 cent let it load up don't know why it's taking so long yeah this was the key support level once it broke this uh, i wasn't interested and then now it's just breaking down guys even pgx is not looking good so unless we see a big green candle in the next few days uh, like i said i'm gonna stay away from pgx this is just about holding support it's had that dip which i talked about we're gonna get and it's basically following the scribbly line that i've drawn is following that scribbly line but what we want to see is some big green candles if we don't see big green candles then the market is really weak and i'd probably get out if you know start breaking below here i'd get out and look to jump back in look to jump back in when there's a better market condition so if we start breaking below you know one cent i would be worried and i'd wait to see trend changes and then buy back but for now you can look to buy support because it is support i do think we're going to have a rally for a few days and the question is after that rally are we going to trend change or are we going to carry on breaking down? So that's the video, guys. That's the big peg axi update. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comment below. If you want me to keep making peg axi content, uh, comment below. I'll try to make an update a week. Uh, you can still make money from you know renting and racing little money. I'll, I'll share that uh, video if you guys are interested. So hit that like button, comment below. Let me know if you enjoyed this peg axi content. And I'll carry on making this peg axi updates for you guys. Maybe a couple of times a month or you know once a week if, if it gets really popular again. And like I said, I will let you guys know when I'm getting involved in this game. Before I end the video, what is your thoughts on peg axi? Do you think peg axi is a big game? Do you think you know peg axi is going to pump a lot more? Comment below um your uh, thoughts on peg axi are you looking to are you still breeding peg axi are you looking to buy now or what's your price prediction for the you know the peg axi prices pegas prices uh, and also the prices um for viz and pgx so uh, i'm not going to make those crazy price predictions at the moment it's just that support let's see if the support can hold before i can uh, make my price predictions so although it's a price prediction video i'm just hoping that we see a big green candle if we see big green candle trend changes then i'll make price predictions of higher up for now if you are involved in peg Axie, let's hope this support holds so thank you very much for watching this video guys if you have enjoyed it hit that like button subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button and thank you for all the nice messages uh, in from that video i shared with you my calculator all the links are below you can get it and and play and uh, and and make money yourself so thank you for all of that thank you guys smash that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video go pegaxi